A hybrid enterprise is one where the assets aren't uh, only on premise. Um, traditional enterprise, you had a data center, you had physical locations, all of the assets were, were located in one of those two places, and the organization sort of controlled all of that infrastructure. A hybrid enterprise has distributed that and distributed the responsibility for that infrastructure to uh, cloud providers, but not just cloud providers, also SaaS providers, where they're managing more than just the infrastructure, but the application as well. And the more we see uh, how organizations are behaving in terms of, of outsourcing their responsibilities for infrastructure and applications, the more we see them as, as hybrid organizations. In fact, I would say almost every organization is really a hybrid organization in one way or another, whether they know it or not. There was a point in time where your cloud strategy as a, as a large organization generally involved picking a, a cloud provider, an infrastructure as a service provider, and saying, okay, we're, we're an AWS shop or we're an Azure shop. But as time has gone on, uh, it's become clear that organizations want to have a strategy that doesn't, uh, doesn't involve a, a single provider. It involves having uh, assets and, and processes and certain systems and multiple providers. So you would have um, Azure and AWS and maybe Google Cloud and maybe even more uh, as that strategy. Now, you might think that, that that's a clear strategy that organizations have selected, and in some cases it is. Um, but it's also the case that as organizations adopted cloud, some of them put together a strategy and then found that different groups in that organization had already adopted services. And so they shifted their strategy from, well, we picked this one provider to, well, actually we have multiple providers, so that's our strategy now. Um, so sometimes multi-cloud is intentional, sometimes it's accidental.